Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some Code Vein. Last time we left off where we found two different areas that we can go to. We have the park and we have that underground area. I don't remember what it's called, but we can check in a second. Before we do that, I would like to upgrade my gear. I hope there's something you can use. Also, we'll see if she actually has new stuff Buying because something? that might be cool. We already had that. We've found one of those, but I think it's new to the store. Is ours plus one? Is that why? I think that's probably my least favorite thing about the UI so far, is it doesn't count a plus one version as the same weapon. So you can't tell from this menu if you already have one. Do we have any new... Midnight Sun. These all sound really cool, but pretty sure... They're very high dexterity. I feel like this one's just better. The one that we're currently using. Or wait, no, we're not using the v Venice Claw. We're using a different one that we just got. So let's check what okay. the one we are actually using is. And I went back to the bayonet at the moment. We should probably maybe upgrade it just because it makes us a lot lighter. Oh my god, I didn't mean to press that. Okay, so if we compare, what we currently have is this normal Nightclaw. This one seems way better. Because this one's got a strength scaling, it has a slightly worse dexterity scaling, like literally the difference between B plus and A, and then it has a slightly better mind scaling and a much better willpower scaling. So that would lead me to believe that this one is better. So maybe we should actually use it. Yeah, because the difference in defense is literally two, and this one's already plus one. So we should upgrade this uh, Venice one. Is that how you would say that? Venus? It's not really Venus. Because <laughs> it's got a U in it. Wait, no, it's got an O in it, an extra, it's got an extra O in it, so I don't know how you would say that. I would say Venice, but not like the city. Whatever. This is a stupid conversation. Hi. But let's see if we can what do you wanna upgrade? get our sword upgraded once. Cost four? Ouch. All right, and now it requires steel instead of iron, and we have not seen any steel. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Um, so if we do one upgrade, we'll get thirty more defense. What are we looking at if we use this one? Why does this one have so much more defense? This gives better gift scaling. No, just light gift scaling. This gives better dark gift scaling. But, oh, that's the drain attack that we're looking at. This has significantly better defenses pretty much all around. So maybe we should just go back to this Queen Slayer Thorn. Okay. Cause it'll What what does inhibit mean? <laughs> That's a status that I'm not familiar with. It's actually 
Okay, so the difference between the Night Claw and the Venus Claw, the Venus one does more damage, but the Night Claw um, has higher defenses. So we should probably stick with the Night Claw. That and the Night Claw is the exact same as like this Midnight Sun Claw. But we can't really afford these. I assume they're just different colored versions. If I could afford one, maybe I'd get one. But let us upgrade, that Do you wanna upgrade? this. Oh, we don't have enough money. All right, hold okay. on. Give me a second. We got plenty of these things. Hi. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? All right, so we'll upgrade this. It doesn't actually raise the defenses at all. It just raises the damage and the gift scaling. Interesting. I would have thought that it would raise the defenses. Huh. Well, the defenses aren't that much worse. Except for it gets pierced. No, it's only six. I don't know what six actually means, but... Huh. Or we could... Oh, we don't have enough queen iron for that. We could just save up for a plus three. That's a tough one. Maybe I just won't do the armor for now. We'll save some of our queen iron. And we'll we'll use both a little bit more and then pick one that we actually like. Okay, so I think we're going to go back to the park. Uh, this place is called the Howling Pit Entrance, apparently. We'll get back to that area once we finish the ruined city. Because we still have a quest here, as far as I know. And this must be the quest or the material after steel. So we have queen's iron, we have queen steel, and then probably queen titanium next, or queen titanium could be the last one. Okay. So we should do a little bit more damage at the very least. Both take it nice and steady. I do like the claw. Like aesthetically, I don't like the claw as much. Is there a person over here? Where is this person? Oh, he's all the way back there. I should probably check my equipment too. It still tells me where I died, but I'm not going back there. There's not very many. Uh, or very much haze there but yeah i don't like the claw aesthetically but i feel like the claw is a more effective weapon than the spike tail there's nothing around here all right let's bite That's oh you're not dead yet i thought he was dead Pick up something we can use? Another sword. <laughs> well, that went well. Because these guys keep trying to parry me. So I figure I probably shouldn't just mindlessly attack into them. So that time I just let Louie hit him first. Might be better to move forward instead of debating here. I just got here. I was just looking what's over there. There's a vestige here. We need this. We should avoid fighting that enemy. Why? Also mastered both of the. I've come back to life again. I'll have to take good care of that. 
Hey, it's the Prometheus Vestige. Alright, probably didn't need to use the lightning there, but... I wonder... Because last time we figured out that the communion... How does this work? At the cost of damage reduction. But, like... It was taking max Icor to use it. It doesn't appear to say that it does that. Is that a cocoon? Well, that's creepy. It doesn't really look like a cocoon, though. It looks like a web flower. So this is probably a boss I would hazard a guess. There is that area around. Hold on, right before we go here. Is there really nothing over here? Because the map leads me to believe there would be a path, but there is definitely not. Alright. Well, this is probably gonna be a boss, so let's see if we can do it. We got our anti-venom thing, so I'm feeling okay. lost the race. Well, strength succeeds where speed fails. Wait, this place is... Hurry it up, damn wretch! Without your blood, we'll all suffer. Or didn't you think about that when you ran off? Take him somewhere safe. You owe me for this. Now, where to get started? Butterfly of Delirium. I was reading your name, dang it. Oh, it's poison. Oh my god. You have very annoying attacks. I don't even know how that hit me because I was behind Louie when it did. I would back up, Louie. Apparently, is he poison? Yeah, let's cure his poison. All right, we need to get out of there. Okay, Louie. <laughs> I feel like we should use lightning weapons and heal his poison. Ow. I just healed my poison and then I got poison. It was supposed to make me more immune to poison. Ah, oh, 
that still hit? Okay, I'm dead. Well, this seems like the end. Ah. I missed. Oh my goodness. Not like this. Oh no. <laughs> These attacks are so dumb because there's no dodging the damage on them. I could dodge the attack, but the damage still hits me. <sighs> Whatever, we were incredibly close. I shouldn't have gone for that charge attack. I just thought that it would finish her, but then it just went straight through her. A review of our tactics might be in order. That's good. Oh, we didn't take damage this time. Uh, so do we want to use communion for this? Probably not. This. I know it. How do boss fights start now? Like, can I buff first? That's a solid start. Glad that's recovered. Ah, oh, I ran out of stamina. I would like to re-damage buff. Ah, oh, what? I wasn't close enough? I need stamina. Ah, oh, Jesus. Is he poisoned? No, he's good. Alright, I need stamina. Okay, I'm poisoned. <laughs> it's chasing me! It's chasing me! Help. Okay, let's heal up. Get in. Ow. I tried to dodge that, but... Okay. We're so close. Got her. That boss was a little bit difficult, but it was mostly just knowing mechanics and stuff. You awake? You? I remember you. Where's the girl? Answer me! Where did you take her? We're taking custody of the girl. That human belongs to us. We will take her back. Humans aren't property. They have the same right to live that any of us do. Don't give me that noble act. They have no rights. And why shouldn't we feed on them? We're the ones keeping them safe, after all. Why were we kicked out of our graves? 
Who did we die for again and again at the Queen's hand? We writhe with this terrible thirst. We live in fear of joining the ranks of the lost. And for whose sake? It's all in the service of humans. If blood is the only price they have to pay, then they have a pretty good deal. That doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want with them. And what about the rights of revenants? Huh? It's not like we're choosing to live this way because it's such a barrel of laughs. That should be enough to get you through a month or so. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Just make sure that you and I never cross paths again. This is your one and only warning. No way. The Crimson Sword? I guess we'll be rationing for a while. <laughs> oh well. What is lost can be found again, huh? I swear I'll end it. The Revenant's suffering must end. Well then, apparently Louis is famous. <laughs> I like, I just looked at the map, like the path that I've taken across this boss room is just like a bunch of random squiggles. I kind of like that aspect. Okay, so we got a lot of soul doohickama doodads. So the question I guess is, we just killed a boss, so people probably have more things for us to buy. So we should go back to the home base and find a way to spend our haze. I'm thinking if that one lady has more Queen's Iron, that would be a good buy. Uh, any new weapons to try out, stuff like that would be good buys. We could also try one of these uh, deep dungeons, whatever the heck they were called. Hi, did you need something? Buying something? Do you have anything new? I don't believe so. So all oh, that's all the same, and okay. I don't think we picked up any new Queen Iron. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. But seriously, you've made my job a whole lot easier. If you want it, I got it. Okay, she has no new Queen Iron. Oh, I thought this was a skill. I was like, what? <laughs> Come again soon. Alright, well, I guess we can't make progress that way. We can, however. Oh. Why are you just sleeping? It's the middle of the day. What is it? I have vestiges. Okay, so we have both of those. We have both of those. And apparently we'll have this one as well, once we do this, these two, is what I'm getting. And then we're just kind of on our own because we don't have any new blood codes to lead us in the direction of something. Where am I? Am I still alive? No. I know this feeling. Everyone was... Each time I learn something new about our world, 
the state of those living in it. My feelings of guilt pierce into even deeper. Starving revenants fighting each other for a handful of blood beads. And the ranks of the lost, swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are... are you helping me? These blood beads... Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep revenants as thralls these days. Stay safe. Watch yourself out there. Uh, um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see. You. This is a long one. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much. But I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. I feel like that one had four memories instead of the usual three. This is so bright. Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end. Even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. What is it? Alright, we got at least one more of these, but I think we'll have two. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless revenants. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. One day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I had given Kevin. I'm not really understanding what, how you kill a revenant. There seems to be a way to kill them, but most of the time they don't actually die. I thought that I could save him just by giving him blood beads, that it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival, and in the end, that's what killed him. I appreciate your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. I won't let myself forget again. Alright, so we probably have one more. What is it? I don't know if it'll unlock some new ones or something. Whoops. Sorry, baby. I'm afraid it's 
That was a short one. That was... Kevin, you... You wanted to... sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, I'd be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened. Or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. Thank you. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of new skills that we've unlocked. Is something up? Surprised to see someone from the government? That we don't, in fact, aside, go talk. We can head out. Uh, did we get new stuff? I've got just about it. If you want it, I got it. Doesn't Come again look soon. Like it. Hi. Did... Okay. So, I think we should maybe get some new skills, that, or just level up in general. Um, we got new Prometheus stuff and new Hunter stuff. We still can't get these because we need different vestiges. Oh, whoops. Firestorm. Flame weapon. See, this could be good. Increasing the amount of focus we can gain. This would also be very good, but we don't have enough haze. Um, this would also be good. Again, not enough haze for that, though. Eternal Blade Dance. Temporarily applies the inhibit effect on your weapon. I don't know what that means. Maybe it prevents them from using abilities? Because the only other time I've seen that little gem in the top right is... Where is it? Uh, right here. On this blood guard. So I don't know exactly what it does. So. Hunter, did we unlock anything cool? Flame spike? Increases the drain rating of weapon attacks. 
spend HP to gain Icor, increase Dex. So that's probably a one that we want to get. So we probably want to make sure we're using, making use of a buff of some sort on whatever class we're in. So this is dark damage. I would like this dexterity up. So since we don't have enough for a lot of the stuff in the Prometheus code, maybe we'll switch to the Hunter code for now. Get this dexterity. We should get a weapon buff. And I kinda want this. And then we should equip stuff. We should probably keep our anti-venom for now because that seems very useful. Uh, we probably don't need weapon drain rating. Instead, get our decks up. What does this one do? Attack power of shots fired. It's not great. But we'll keep it, I suppose. We'll have flame spike. Actually, we could just keep phantom assault on that same key. Put flame spike there. Put our anti venom here. And our weapon buff here. I think that equips everything we could need at the moment. I suppose we could just put something here. I don't really know what to put, I guess blazing roar. And then let's see if we have enough for a level up. We do, oh, we have enough for, oh, we could do two level ups if, if I pop a thingy. Let's do that, because we got like 30 of these, plus we have bigger ones as well. So we got plenty of disposable money. So that's going to increase our HP quite a bit. Doesn't look like any of our stamina gets, or not our stamina, any of our defenses get any better. Nor does it seem like our skills get any better. I still don't really get how that works, because our skills don't appear to be changing. So like, what's, what's the point of having skill requirements for things? Is it all based off of our code? Our blood veil or whatever? I don't know. I don't get it. We'll get two levels. And next time we can continue on from that spider den and see where it goes further from there. But either way, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.